Good morning everybody, this is Artisan Lynn here and I'm here with a tutorial um, from Twisty Christie called The Painted Daisy. And I'm really absolutely in love with this one and I've been meaning to get some of her tutorials out and I have failed to um, get them out in a timely manner. She has a few more that I need to do. and um, But now that I have a brief moment, now I've got kids running in and out of the house. So I do apologize for any interruptions, but this is the tutorial I'm going to make. So this is one of her renditions right here. Oop. Let me go back over to this one. And this is one of the other renditions. You can use whatever color scheme you want. Um, I've got something a little different that I'm going to attempt to do. I just hope it turns out. So um, just go ahead and pick your colors and I'll show you how the loom is to be set up. All right. Okay, so this is your pin bar setup. It's 10 pin bars wide all the way across and two full loom length long. Now in Christie's... Um, Flippergram, it shows her stopping four pegs from the top, okay? Um, she has very small wrists. I don't know whether I want to just do it the way that she sent it to me. Um, it might actually be easier. That way I don't get all confused and screw the tutorial up. But um, you could take it all the way to the top because there's four pegs left at the top. But if you do that, and if I decide to do that, then what we're going to have to do is move the daisy up to okay and so um, just to make it in the center so maybe that's what I'm going to do so go ahead and pick out your colors and then we'll be back to get started okay so I'm going to use my jet black cylindric and that's um, what we're going to do so we're going to just bring it start in the center peg and then go out all the way to the border like so and then I'm going to end up beading my border and so you're going to take it to this side all the way to the border okay push your bands down okay now I'm going to do every other band will be a um, beaded band so we're going to go up with the plain band first and then I took a spacer bead and I put it on a band okay and we're going to do every other one so plain band beaded band plain band beaded band okay and you're just going to do alternate plain and beaded all the way to the end on both sides so I'm going to let you go ahead and finish that I will show you where I'm going to stop at the top of the loom I'm probably going to drop it down um, and stop the last peg from the top. I went ahead and decided to take it all the way to the top just so that it wasn't going to be too short of a design. Um, so you're going to take it to the very end and go four in and four in and stop right there and leave this peg open. Okay, so that means when we go to um, put the daisy on, I'm going to have to remember to center it properly since we went down four pins. That means we're going to have to bring, to make it even, we're going to have to bring the daisy up two. So that there will be two extra rows here and two extra rows at the back, which equals the four. I'm hoping that my math is right. I don't know. Okay, so what we're going to do is, so I counted how many we're supposed to go up to start. We're going to go up 13. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I went ahead and dropped a band there. That way I knew. Okay. And that's... And then if you count up, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it'll be thir it's, it should be centered now. Okay? But that's where we're going to start. I may have to let me rearrange my stuff. I may have to move this over to the side to be able to see what I'm how we're doing this since this won't fit through my tripod legs. Okay. So, I'm going to show you the pattern that we are going to use, okay, for the middle daisy part, okay? So, we're going to start right here. So, you need to pick the color that you're going to use for the outline of your daisy, which for me, I'm going to continue on with my black, jet black, 
and continue on here. Now on the petals, I'm going to bead them, but I'm going to bead them with a 6-0 seed bead. I've never made this before. I'm just going to give it a shot. I hope I'm not blinging it out too much, but I think we're going to make this one. We're going to attempt to make it really pretty. So hold on one second and let me um, get to where I need to be to show you the steps for, but count up 13 and drop a band there and then you won't, you'll remember where to start. Okay, so I figured out where we're supposed to start and there's going to be a larger leaf on either side and then two smaller uh, petals coming down this way. So I'm going to, since I'm really super low on my um, blue bands, I'm going to make, I'm not going to make my side bands blue. I guess that doesn't even matter right at the moment because, well, it kind of does because I went ahead and beaded with the 60 seed bead and see I did this one in the blue which is going to match my gemstone that I'm going to have under it okay so that's my plan that's I guess it does kind of matter and then I beaded for another petal I beaded some purple on there and another one I beaded some green because I'm everything that's going to be underneath the you know filling in the petals is going to be from the gemstone le collection okay so, because it has some sparkle in it, and I just think it'll really, I'm, I'm hoping it'll look good. I don't know. I've, maybe I should do the daisy all the same, but since it's called Painted Daisy, I kind of wanted to do different color swatches for the petals. So, what we're going to do is figure out which, I'm going to figure out which um, large petals I want to go on either side, and then the small ones. I'm going to alternate between the three colors, which is green, purple, and blue. So since I know I'm not going to have these as the blue, I'm going to start this in one of the other colors that I have enough uh, bands for, which is going to be, well, I guess we could do, we could do green since I have a lot of green. So I'm going to pick my band, which is the Jet Black Cylindric that has the green bead on it, and I'm going to start it here, okay? And like I said, you don't have to um, beat it at all, but this is what we're going to do. Okay, I just went a little too far in this flippogram. Okay, so since we started right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so this is the 13th peg. I'm going to start here, and I'm going to go do a diagonal towards the right, right there. Okay, and then I'm going to go I'm going to be the entire one. So I'm going to take it across and connect it and do another diagonal going downward just like so. Okay. And then, well, that's the part I'm not sure of. Let me, let me see what I need to do as far as where I'm going to stop beating because I know the center part. I'm not going to bead. So let me make sure that that is where we stop with the beading. Okay, I was right. We're only doing these three beads as far as the beading goes. If you choose not to bead it, just follow my pattern. Okay, I'm going to do a plain band going down diagonally. Okay, and then a plain band going across. And then a plain band going diagonally. And then this is where we're going to start beading again with my green. So I will do the beading going diagonally up, diagonally over, like so, and diagonally downward to reach the border. Okay, hopefully you can see what I got going on right there. And now we're going to continue on here and we're going to um, go the other direction. So we're going to connect it where it has it here. We're going to go out that way and then we're going to go straight across. Okay. And then we're going to go diagonally again and I will use another green bead. And there we go. Okay. And let's see what else is next. Okay, so now at this point, I'm going to do a plain diagonal, a plain band going across, 
and then a plain band going downward because I'm leaving this one free okay um, and then I'm going to let's see here you know what I need to get some more beads but you're gonna go diagonally across and then connect it back to the border all with the beads on it so I'm gonna have to go through and uh, I'll just show you what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and use my blue one, but I'll take it off and, and replace it just so that we can finish this section. So you're gonna connect with here and go down. And then you're gonna do a beaded one going across and a beaded one taking you up back to the border. So that's what we have going on right now. That's what it should look like just like so. Okay, so the next part we're gonna do purple. And what we're gonna do is we are going to connect it um, right here where this um, band goes across and we're gonna go diagonally down to the left twice. Okay, then we're gonna go downward like so. And then we're going to go, let me fix my band. We're gonna go across. Or maybe I'll just go like this and we'll, we're gonna go across. And then we're gonna go diagonally. And then up two times. Like so. Okay, since we had green and green on this side and we want a petal to be purple, blue, so it'll go green, purple, blue, green, purple, blue. We need to switch our bead color to the blue. So we're going to go where this connects here and we're going to go diagonally down towards the right twice. Oh, I love weekends when my kids are home so that they scream whenever I want to try to do anything. It's super frustrating. Okay, going across, and then we're going to connect it going diagonally, and then up two more times. And that should take care of our colors for this half. Okay, so it's going to be green, purple, blue, green, and then we'll have a purple one and a blue. Okay. So that's what part of it should look like right now. Let me see. I'm going to have to turn this because you won't be able to see. Just like this. Okay, so let's see what we have. Green, purple, blue, green, and then purple, blue. So since we're going out this way, this was going to be the blue. Okay, so I'm going to have to bead some more bands, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now we want to start with the blue. And we want to go where this cross band is, and we're going to go out towards the left twice with the blue. And like I said, if you don't beat it, then it just just follow how I'm going. And then we're going to go upward one, over to the right one. I know my hand's in the way. Ugh. And then diagonally one. And then go down twice. Okay. So you should have blue here, blue there, purple here, purple here. Okay. So now we're going to go with the purple and we're going to go out towards the right twice. Okay. And then we're going to go up one. towards the left one, diagonally, fix my band, diagonal, like so, and down twice. And that's basically it for the pattern, so at least I got all my beads on. And So that is what it should look like, folks just like so.
Okay, as I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my center bands, because this is what we're going to be laying first, I think I'm going to do something off the wall and do black for my center. I've not done that before, and I don't know. We'll see what it looks like with the black in the center. So you're going to pick your next color, and it's going to be your center of your flower, and we're going to go up one, out towards the left. Whoops, got all twisted on me out towards the left one, down one. Okay, so it's like a half starburst here. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we'll go one up in the black, one towards the right, and then one up and down. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like, just like so. Okay, now, you can either choose to be the center right here or put a double cap band um, going sp spanning across these pegs, which means if you was to take your, your band and put it on the hook and put it on the hook twice, grab the other side and put it right here, that's your double cap band right there that you're going to use for there. But I'm going to choose to try to bead this part, okay? And I guess what I need to tell you is that, and you know what? <laughs> okay, I just realized this may be an issue, and it may not be. It probably will be. This side, Let's see, we can choose to bead that center, which is really what I want to do, but I might wait and bead it at the end because basically, since you're putting this um, cap band here, if you bead that, then this, then it will be, the signature side will be on top. So I'm debating on whether to, because if you take it off, the bottom bands, which is the pattern part, that's the part that has the beads. It will come out on the bottom side when you take it off. It'll be on the bottom. So you'll have to take your beads and slide it through to the other side so that they will be on top. Or I do believe we can maybe not bead this one and then just add like whatever you want your center bead to be um, at the end, when I take it off the loom, I can, you know, sew it on, which is probably what I'm going to do because I I want to use this bead here because it's a flower one. But the problem with that is, is that if I take it off, if I put it on here as my band and this is the top part of the loom, there's no way to slide it to the other side. And then I would have to slide each of these individual ones to the other side. So I think I'm going to hold off. And maybe just do the double cap band like I had because I'm just thinking that that might be better so we're just gonna do that okay if I, I can sew on a bead anytime after the fact or a charm or whatever in the center so I'm just gonna put the double cap band right like so okay now what we're gonna do is we are gonna work on this side okay so since this is green, we need to get our green bands. Okay, I've got my green, and I'm going to use it from the gemstone pack. And they're the cylindric, so I won't have a whole lot to fix when it comes off. And this is where we're going to work right now. Okay, first things first, we're going to go on this, this peg here, which is where that um, first petal started, where the diagnoids uh, starts, right here. And we're going to go up one. And then we're going to go to the left one. And then we're gonna go up one. Okay, you're gonna end up doing the same thing on that side. We're gonna go up one, over one, and then up one. So that's what we're looking for. Okay, and then let's see, we're gonna put a cap band right here which is the same thing we did in the center here so I'm going to take my band put it on my hook twice and then span it going across like 
So, okay, now we're going to work on this right side. And that means we are going to go up one. And then we are going to go towards the right. And then we're going to go up. Okay. And then we are going to go do the same thing on this side. We're going to go up one, out to the left, and then up one, like so. Then we need to do the figure eight on our hook, like so. Grab both sides, oops, and then place the cap band going across just like so. Okay, now we're going to pop back over to here, push your bands down, and we're going to continue on with our green, and we're going to make an X. Just like that on both sides, that will make it tighter, and then we're going to do another X right there. Okay, do the same thing on this side. Hopefully you can see. We're going to go out towards the left first. And then the right, press your bands down. And then we're going to go out to the left. And then to the right. So that's what we have, people. Okay, so now, sorry to keep moving this. I'm trying to find the best way. Okay, so now we have this, this um, petal that's going, that's on the left. And I'm going to, since my beads are purple, I'm going to use purple. And what we're going to do is we're going to start in the center and we're going to go diagonally. And then we're going to go out towards the right. Okay, and then we're going to, I think we're just doing a starburst. We're going to go up and down and then go out to the left. Press your bands down or push your bands down. Okay, go that way and just follow it around like a starburst. Okay, so that's what it should look like. Now we're going to do the same thing on the right. We're going to go towards the left first, and then we are going to follow it around, doing the mirror image. Okay? So just like so. And then straight up. Okay? So that's what we have right there. Okay? We're going to do the same thing. You know what? I screwed that up, didn't I? Yes, I did. Well, if depending on the colors that you chose. I forgot to switch my color to the blue. So let's try that again because I didn't switch my colors. We're going to start in the center and go up towards the left and go the other direction, which I just showed you but failed to change my colors. So that didn't really work out so hot for me so now I have the purple and the blue now we're going to work on the top one and we are going to do the same thing over here which we're going to go out diagonally and this is my blue beads so we're going to go start in the center and go out diagonally towards the left and we're going to go counterclockwise so just like so okay diagonal straight across and one more going up okay so that's what we have so far now we're going to switch over this is my purple so you'll have these two that these two should be the same color these two and these two so now i'm going back to my purple and we are going to start off going the opposite direction or clockwise to a clock position go out towards the right up and down diagonal push your bands down towards the left and straight up just like so so that's what I got going on so far so now what we need to do is we need to put a triple cat band on each one well, each one of these four, okay? So they need to have a cat band, so it's a... Well, actually, you can do it that way, or you can do it like I normally do it. I'm going to do a triple. I'm debating on whether to do a double, but I'm going to go with a triple and a triple. And the same up above here. 
And then I'm going to switch over to my purple and do one right here. Okay, so now we're all good as far as the cat bands go. Now we're going to work on the bands going up the side. Now we just need to choose what color we are going to go for. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is my uh, glitter white. I do believe that's what I'm going to go for. Okay, so now we're going to work on this side, which is going to be my glitter white. And all we're going to do is going up the entire loom is we're going to go diagonally over to the left diagonally over to the left and we're just going to do this the entire way up the loom on both sides so if we did that now the mirror image would be going this direction and then over and then this direction and over okay so that's what we're going to do on both sides so just go ahead and finish that okay up. so when you go up here I forgot to tell you, you are just going to go continue with the pattern on top of those green ones. Bring it all the way to the top. And your last band will have a band going on the border. And the same with it over here. You will have a band going across right there. Okay, so the next rows we're going to be going up. And I'm going to use my Egyptian Gray, which is one of my all-time favorite colors. And all we're going to do is we're going to go from the second pin bar, diagonal, and then we're going to go connect it diagonally down the other direction, like so. Okay? Then we're going to go to the third pin bar and go out towards the left, and then go out and connect or uh, cross over the other X going this direction. Okay? And then... We're just going to do that all the way up the loom, going from there, making like a point, and then we're going to go back towards the left, and then over. One more, like so, diagonal, diagonal, and then we're going to go back and connect them out towards the left and out towards the right. I'm going to do the same on this side, which is going to be, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to take this till you get up to right here, okay? And then, obviously, you're not going to put it up, keep going. You're going to stop when you get to right here, and then, but you're going to continue this all the way till you get to this green one. So you're going to go, actually, this this row right here of your X's is going to go to right to the, where this green stops. And this one will go all the way to there. So continue doing it in the exact way I'm, I'm laying it till you get to right here. And then you're just going to do X's for the other three. Okay? Okay. So we brought this all the way to here. Okay. And then we stopped and we did one, two, three X's going up. Now we have to fill in this part, okay? So how we fill that in is we're going to use the same color as I used here. And I'm going to do a um, starburst. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go um, up. We're going to start where this purple one ends or where this purple is, we're going to go bring one band going up and then we're just going to follow it around making a starburst. So diagonal, straight across, and then we're going to go straight up and down and out to the right. Okay, so it's a different type of starburst. So it'll go up diagonally downward straight over straight up and to the right okay and that's how we fill that section in and now we're going to continue going up three X's okay so you continue with your um, whatever color you did down here and we're going to just do the three X's one two Oops, make sure they stay in the right proper order. And then three. So we're ending it right um, right here. 
So we'll do three. And then what we're going to do is we have to come into here and to fill this part in as well. Okay. So we'll do the same thing. We're going to go up here. Okay. Let me just check here. Three, okay, yeah. Actually, we're not going to go up right here. We're going to go up right here, okay, from the center upward. And then to the right. And then downward. Okay, and then we're going to go out, just follow it around, out towards the right. Diagonal and straight up and uh, actually diagonal <laughs> that didn't make much sense did it? okay well we, how we started it was we started in the center and we went up um, to the right downward to the left and diagonal and that's where we stopped okay so now that we um, did that now we can continue on with our pattern on these two rows going up okay which is going to be if you remember correctly you're gonna make go from there and connect it like the so and then cross back over the X's go in the other direction so you're kind of making a a point and then you're making a V okay so here's your point Okay, now you're going to cross back over making a V shape. Okay, and you're going to finish that all the way to the end of the loom. Okay, so now let's do the same thing on this side. We are going to, let's see here. We are going to, let's see, yeah. We're going to go from here to there, and then we're going to connect it back down to this way. And then we're going to go back and go make the V. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we're going to go make the point. And then, oh, well, my bands are sticking together. And then we're going to make the V. point and then cross it over and make the V. You're going to do that until you get to right here and then you're going to stop. And then you're going to go one, two, three of just plain X's just like we did on this side. And then I'll show you what's next. Okay, so here's where we ended right here. Now we're going to do the mirror image that we did for the next three X's. So we're going to go towards the left and then cross over so this looks like it's gonna bust and cross over go that way we're gonna make three of these and that's your last one and we're gonna stop right there okay so that it looks like so okay now what we have to do is we have to come over here and we have to do, um, what do you call that? Our starburst. So we are going to go, let's see here. I think we're going to go from the bottom to the top and then go out. Uh, well, let me figure this one out real quick. Okay, so now that we've done the three going up, I was mistaken. We're going to go from the center out towards the right. And we're going to do a starburst. Okay, so a diagonal. And then we're going to go straight up and down. And then we're going to go, let's see here, out towards the left. And then straight up and down. Okay, and that is what it should look like as far as that goes. And now we need to go up here and finish our three X's. So we'll continue on. And going in this direction, if I can untwist my bands, and you're going to do these three. 
Okay. All right, now we've got to fill in this spot right here. So what we're going to do is we are gonna go diagonally. So using the same color, we're gonna start in the center and go do a diagonal. And then just follow your starburst around towards the right. Um, straight up and down. Let's see. Diagonal to the right, straight up and down towards the left. And then straight up and down, okay? So that's what it should look like. So now we have all of this done, like so. Well, not all the way, all of it done. We stopped right here. Now we got to continue on doing our um, V's going up or our arrow, and then cross over with our V. And we'll finish this part to the very end of the loom. Okay, so now we need to put the bands that... There's going to be a band that connects in the center, and it's also going to have a cuff stitch on it. But it's a cross band that's going to go across these center bands going up. I probably shouldn't use black, because that, will, but I'm going to. I'm just going to continue with black. Um... It's just what I'm going to do. Okay, which I'm so nervous about all these colors because I don't like to do designs that have too many different colors going. So I'm kind of nervous about this. But, okay, so the fourth pin bar from the left. You want to go um, up to the third peg, okay? And you're going to start your cross band going across, okay? Then you're going to skip a row and then bring another one over. Skip a row bring another one over, skip a row, and your last one will end right there where that purple is. Okay, and then what you're gonna to need to do, which I'm gonna to need to do, is get some more of my Jet Black Cylindric, but I do believe that you are going to start right there, skip one, do one. Oh gosh, where's my Jet Black? I don't have my jet black in front of me, so I'm going to use some of the onyx just to show you. So you would start here, skip a row, do one there, skip a row, do one here, skip a row, do one here, skip a row, do one here. Um, is that how we're supposed to do that? Uh, that that's throwing me off because, let me just check. Uh, what she's got going here or where she started this this one so she did start it from going here okay this is gonna be a little off and I'm gonna go ahead and put one here too because remember she stopped like the fifth pin bar down is where she cut hers off so it would have it would have worked out um, with how these bands are laid, but since I went all the way up, the last one's gonna end on that peg right there. So I want you to do this exact same thing on this side. So your first one will go here, then there, then there. So just continue doing that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm choosing to, we have to put a band going across there because that's where a cuff stitch is going to be to connect those cross bands. I'm going to continue on with the same color, which I apologize. I was using black, but I when I went off camera, I took it off and put, um, because of the reason being is that the flower was done, or the daisy was done in black, and it would have connected too close to the leaves, and it would have distorted the pattern, so I'm choosing to take them off and do the... Um, glitter white there but you're going to need a a cuff stitch that's going to go across there so what I'm doing is is I went ahead and beaded these pretty little flower beads on my band and all we're going to do is put it across each one of these like so okay because that's going to be a cuff stitch and then I take another one and put it right here 
everywhere you have that stitch going across is where you're going to add these okay just like so so find a nice pretty bead it doesn't have to be like that it can be a seed bead it can be I wouldn't make them too big I'd keep them rather small um, but that is going to be a cuff stitch right there you don't have to beat it if you don't you just leave it because it like I said it's going to get wrapped uh, if you know what a cuff stitch is um, you're going to do that the whole way down. okay this is what we're going to do for the next part we're going to do like they're going to be half starbursts right here so what we're going to do is we're going to come in right here on this one two three four fifth pin bar we're going to go up one and i'm choosing to use um gray sweets so we're going to go up one we're going to go over um let's see diagonal out towards the left diagonal and straight up okay that is our one side okay now we're going to do the same thing we're going to go up and then we're going to go diagonal to the right diagonal and then straight up and down okay that's what we have going on right there Okay, now we're going to continue with the next set, which is going to be going up and doing the same way. Up, diagonal to the right, diagonal, and then straight up and down. And then this side, we're going to go straight up, diagonal to the right, diagonal, and straight up and down. Okay, and we're going to do that the entire way till we get, well, actually, we're going to stop right when you get to, I believe, right here. And then, let's see here, yeah. Let me see what we're going to be doing next. Yeah, just stop to right here for now. Okay, so we stopped right here where I said. Now we've got to deal with filling in this center part. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an X from the center, make an X, and then we've got to go diagonal, like so, and on the other one, other side, diagonal, okay? And then we are going to do an X in the center, connecting, and one more. Okay. And then what we've got to do is from here, where this X is, we're going to go out the other direction on each side. Okay, so like so. And then let's see here. Now we are at the top. We've got to fill in. Now that we have this all the way done, we've got to scoot this down. See, so here's the center of the. Um, if I'm saying that right, here's the center of the flower. And what we're going to have to do is basically do the same thing and I'm looking at this going hmm let me just look here because I'm seeing something a little different let me look here before we go any further okay I think I got it now oh my goodness okay that's where we stopped and what we did was here we went um, we did an X Diagonal, diagonal. Then we did two more X's. This is the center part of the design. So now we've got to do two more X's. Okay, actually three more X's. And then what we're going to do is just go out the opposite direction going that way okay so then it looks exactly like it's the mirror image on both sides of the center okay and then now all we're going to do is our starbursts again Woo. 
Whew, that was rough. I don't know why that was rough for me, but it was. So we will continue on with, let's see, going up, diagonal, over, diagonal, and up. That's our half star burst right there. And then we are going to do the same thing on this side, up, diagonal, to the right, diagonal, and straight up and down. Okay, so I need you to finish that pattern going all the way down. Okay, so we did, starting here, our half star burst on each side. Okay, it ended right here, the second to the last, the second to the last one, it ended. Okay, sorry about that. Woo, got a little crazy. I um, was trying to stop the flip gram before it turned off and I have to forward all the way through it. Okay, so it stopped right here was your last of your half starburst right here. Okay, so all we did was we went up one and diagonal, up one and diagonal. Okay, normally we would go out, but I don't know if that's necessary. So we're just going to do the one going up and the one diagonal and then we'll leave it at that. Okay, the only other band placement we're going to need to do is a um, triple or a double cap band. And just in between each of the starbursts, the half starbursts that are going here, you want to place a um, double cap band. So another one will go right here. And then one in between each one of the, um, so there should be one, two, three, four. And then the same up top. So go ahead and do your double cap bands in between each one of your, it's hard to tell from here because we're using all gray, but um, just go ahead and put your double cap bands. Okay, so now we can turn the loom around and get started. I need a cap band that goes across here. So we'll do a double cap band and span it across these two pegs right here. And then what we've got going on here is a um, hat. We, we, we couldn't do a full starburst here because this was the full starburst right here. So we've got to deal with these two. So I think what I'm going to do, because it doesn't, and this only isn't lining up because she made her shorter and I adjusted it. So I'm hoping that I'm correct on this. But I'm just going to take this one and bring it out towards the left and bring this in forward. Okay, for just this part right here. Okay, now that we are where the actual half starbursts start here, now we're just going to go in through the cap band and bring everything back to itself. So you're going to bring this down, always going from the cap band, and just follow each one around. Okay. here and bring this down to the right okay so now we have that okay and so what we're going to end up doing now is just looming out um, all of the starbursts so There's one half. Bring this one coming down. And there's the other one. Okay. So we're going to do this all the way down till you get to right there. Okay. Okay. So when you get done and you stop right here. Okay. Now what we've got to do is we're going to take our bottom band, okay, and we're going to cross it over first, just like so, and then we're going to take these diagonal bands and we're going to go in from that peg and bring it downward, okay, just like so. And then we're still going to get the bottom band, which is going to be on this left side, and we're going to do our X's. 
going up. So there's two more X's that we do. Okay, now we've got to do um, this part in the center, which is your starburst. So right here is your cat band in the black. And we're going to go through our cat band. Let me make sure I got these in the right order. And we're just going to do our half starburst. So we'll go up to the right, downward, just whichever one's on top, you're just going to grab and bring it back to itself. Okay, so that center part is done. Now we're going to get the bottom band, and I think I put these back on wrong because I had to take the whole thing apart. So let me... uh. Let me fix this. This probably wouldn't happen to you if um, this wouldn't have happened to you. It's just because that I had to take it apart while I was off camera. Okay, so we're going to take our bottom band, and which is this side, and we're going to bring it over first. Okay, bottom band here. Okay, and here's where we're at. Now we're going to take these two diagonals on either side and bring them out first. And this one is the next one on top, so it goes out. So those two will go out first. Oh, I wish you could see this better. Okay, so this one goes out, this one goes out, and now we're going to grab the bottom band and bring it around. Okay? And then at this point, we're back to doing the... Um, half starburst. So we're just going to go in and grab whatever one's on top and just follow it around. Okay. And I don't know if I put these back in the right order, but it doesn't really matter as long as you're getting the one that goes back to itself first, whichever one that is on top. Okay. So I'm going to go through, finish all my starbursts down the center, and then I will meet you back here with the next step okay so go ahead and finish your other ones okay at this point we need a triple cat band right here because these are going to be like weird starbursts here on either side so right here which is after the one we you know here's the center of the flower so it would be right here in between this purple one and this green you need a triple cat band okay on the other side as well and then up top you'll need one right above it and then right here and now all we're going to do is loop these back to themselves so you're gonna go in from right here and grab whatever the top band is which is gonna be the one going downward well, if I can get it, a grip on it. Well, and then go in and get the next one that's on top. The next one. And loom them out. Okay, you're going to do that here, 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 and here. So go ahead and do that. Okay, we're also going to do the same thing with this purple one, the blue one, and the purple one, and the blue one. So go ahead and loom these out as well. Just whatever band is on top, doesn't matter. Just loom it back to itself. And then I will be back to show you the next step. Basically, just your average starburst. It's just shaped a little different. Okay, so you'll do that here, 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 and here. And then what we're going to need to do is come back to the beginning. And then I'm going to need you to put a cat band on these three pegs on the left and these three pegs on the right. Okay, so go ahead and do okay, that. Now we are ready. We've got cat bands on all three of these pegs. And what we're going to do is we're going to get that top band comes first. So it's this one here. And we're going to make the point. So we'll, we'll go from the second pin bar um, diagonal. And then we'll come in through this fourth pin bar and diagonal where they connect. And then we're going to go back in the center and loop the other two out. Okay. 
And what we're going to do is the same thing on this side. We'll go in through this third one, or the fourth pin bar from the right. This is really difficult. Hold on. I totally could make this easier on myself. Okay, so top band will come under the second pin bar from the right. And we'll make the V and then we'll go loop the other two out. So you're going to go in from the center, grab that top band and loop it out. Okay. And what we're going to do is you see where this cross band is, where I beaded it, how, how there's a band um, in the center and then two connected to the sides. So whatever we do this and we hit one of these areas we need to stop right at it and since we're hitting it right here after doing these two what we're going to do is we're going to do our cuff stitch so we want to go into the center and grab this band that's in the center here okay with the bead you want to grab it and bring it over to the right go back in and get the other side of this band so you go back through all of the bands make sure you go through all of them and get the other side of that band and bring it over okay and once you do that, why is this, this, my, is this greasy or something? It is wanting to slide. I have it exactly how I want it, and it's sliding right out of the spring holder. Okay, so you're going to do your cuff stitch. This, this band comes over here. The other half of that band goes over there. And then we're going to go back in to where this left part of the cuff stitch is, and we're going to get that other cross band and bring it over and do the same thing on this side okay so then you have that because these have to get picked up by these x's going up till we hit to here so you're going to do two more rows of what we did here and then we're going to stop right there where that band is we're going to do the cuff stitch and then loop the side bands out and then continue on doing two more and we're going to do that all the way up the loom okay so hopefully i'll do one more with you to right here and then I'm gonna leave you on your own. You're gonna come over here and get that top stitch, make your V, go over here, get the other, well, I cannot get it. You're gonna make that arrow and then you're gonna go in through the center and make that V, okay? And we, we our next stitch isn't to here so we need to do another set of these. So we'll go over here Oops, excuse me. We'll go over here, make that point, go in the center, and loom out your V. Okay, and that's where we're going to stop. We're going to do the same thing on this side. So you'll get your top band. Come over here and bring this one to make your point. Go in the center band. And hopefully I'm on camera. And loom it out to... Just like so, you're going to do the same thing. Come up here, grab this band, make the point, go in the center, and then loop out your two going to there. And you're going to stop because you have this cuff stitch right here. So you're going to go into the center, grab the beaded band, go back in the center, Go through all of those bands. Make sure you're getting through all of them. Get the other half of that band. It's very important you make sure you're getting the right band, the other half of that band. Okay, once you do your cuff stitch, you're going to go back in and then loop out your sides. Okay, and now that we have that done, we're going to do two more sets of the X bands. And then we'll loop out our cuff stitch in your side bands, two more cuff stitch side bands, and you'll do that um, till you get to right here, okay? And then I do believe we're just gonna do regular X's going up. So just, just stop for me right here, okay? Okay, so now that we stopped right here, we're just gonna grab, we're gonna just do three X's going up and it's gonna be the bottom band, which is gonna be the one from the right. So you're gonna do the bottom band, for these X's, not the top. If I can grab that band. And then three times, okay? So just do it through all of three times going up. Okay, and then when you get to this point, we are gonna leave this green part till the very, almost to the very end, till we get 
right before we do the pattern. So just leave the green part and you're going to need a cap, a triple cap band right here and on the other side as well. May as well go ahead and put it on the other side while we're at it. And that will go right here. Okay. And what we're going to do is I'm just showing you this left side. Um, so what we're going to do is just do our, uh, let's see here. I don't know why this is, okay, so the bottom band first for the next X, bottom band for the next, and one more. Okay, so three X's will be bottom band first. Now we're right here back to where we have the two. Okay, so what we're going to end up doing is um, starting our pattern again, going the rest of the way up, which is going to be the top band. Okay, I'll do one of these top band, and you're going to go into this peg, and you're going to get that band and make the point, and then you're going to go into the center, drop below it, and you're going to... Well, I grabbed the wrong band, so let me grab this band first. Well, let me put these back on in the proper order. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm really messing this thing up. Okay, we're going to go out to the, to the left and then get the other band and go out to the right okay and you're going to do that pattern to the end of your loom now on this side actually not to the end of the loom we got to continue on with our cuff stitches so we went up one two three actually we need to take this one back off because what we forgot to do is our cuff stitch going across so let's put these back on it's just this this very first set of two on this left side Let's put these back on the pin. It's not a big deal. I just knew I was going to miss those cuff stitches. <laughs> and I don't want to mess this thing up and then have to take it off and do it all over again. I'm trying to get them back in the proper order, but it's proving to be a little difficult. Okay, so we did these three X's, okay? The next cuff stitch is right here. It, the last cuff stitch was here, and then you had your flower, and now here's the next cuff stitch. So we need to do this side, and then do our cuff stitch, and then we can continue do two more sets of X's on both sides, do our cuff stitch and our side bands, and then two more X's on each side, cuff stitch, side bands, two more X's, and so on till you get to the end of the loom. Um, I guess I could continue this out. We can grab the um, bottom band on this side. For the next three, it's going to be connecting the bottom bands over first. And bringing this over. And the bottom one for this last one. Okay. And then we're skipping this green part. And right up here, we're going to grab the bottom band again. Go through here, grab the bottom band and bring it over. Oops, my cat band just came off, but we're going to put it right back on. I know. I'm going to put this on the peg. And now that I have it on the peg, I can just slide this cat band on. That makes sense. My dog is trying to come in, but I want to finish this part. Okay, so we're going to bring this up. Bottom band first, and one more, okay? Which is bottom band first. Okay, now we're right here where these two begin. But here's your first cuff stitch. So we want to go into the center here. Make sure you're getting through all the bands. Get the proper one. Bring the cuff stitch over. Go through, get the other half of that band, bring it back, and then do your side bands. Okay? Super simple. And now we're going to do the two sets of X's on both sides, cuff stitch, side bands, and then continue that pattern to the end of the loom. Okay? 
Okay, so now we're going to need a cap band, triple, going on each side at the border. And this is not going to be looped up, this norm, you know, the back to itself, excuse me, all these cuts on my hands. Anyhow, what we're going to do is we're going to go in through the cap band that we just put and go out towards the left, okay? Actually... No, we're not. I lied. We're Okay, we're going to go in through the cat band. Instead of bringing it back out to itself, we're going to bring it to the one above it, okay? That's what we did. And then we're just going to cross over with this X, okay? And now this side band, we're going to go in from this left peg, and instead of bringing it back to itself, we're going to bring it to the top, okay? So we're kind of like making X's. So... Instead of doing this, you're going to bring it to the peg above, and then you're going to go into here and do your normal cross, so it kind of looks like X's, okay? So this side, instead of bringing it back to itself, you're just going to bring it to the peg above, and go into this one, and just um, cross it, okay? I'm hoping that you guys can see what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so I'll do one more. This one will go to the peg above. This one will go back to itself. This one will go to the peg above. And then this one will cross over making that X. Okay, you'll do that all the way up the loom. Same with this side, we'll go in through the cat band. And bring it, instead of bringing it back to the left like normal, you're just gonna bring it to the peg above. And then you're gonna go into this one and then just cross the X. This one, you're not going to bring it to back to itself. You're going to bring it to the peg above and then cross the X. So this one will go to the peg above and then cross the, oops, I don't want to get the wrong. I ended up getting the wrong peg or band. I meant to get this band. Okay. Yeah. So then this peg, this band will go to the peg above. And then this one will cross over. One more to the peg above. And then this one will just cross over. Do that on both sides all the way up the loom and then we'll, we'll hit the green, I think, before we do our pattern. Okay, I thought I had this part done with the green, but apparently it didn't record. So what we did was we took the bottom band and brought it over and then crossed the X, bottom band, over. Okay, and after you get done with that, we have this cat band that's right in between here. We need to go in and loop out these um, half starbursts, okay? So we're going to go in through here and grab that top band. It's going to go out towards the left. Oh, actually, no, we're not. Wrong. I've got to get the correct one. Let me put it in the proper order. See which one goes first. I believe we're going through here and we're getting this top band through the cat band and it's going to be the band that's going down. That's where I made the mistake. And then the next one will go out to the left and then the next one will go up to the top. This one, you'll go in through the cat band, get that top band, bring it down and then bring it out to the right and then bring it straight up. So this is what it should look like. Okay, you're going to do the same exact thing over here. You're going to do your X first, but you're going to do the bottom band goes over first and then the top, and then you're going to loop out your starburst through the cat band. So go ahead and finish this. Okay, up. now we're ready to do the pattern. Okay, so here's the center of the pattern one petal, two petals. We need to come to where this purple petal is right here, and we need to do the pattern. Okay. So what you're gonna do is is right here where this petal starts, um, we are going to go down, okay? So you, you'll go in through this, this pe um, peg and grab that band that goes down, bring it down, and just follow the pattern around. Down, down, diagonal. Straight over to the left, and then you're going to bring this one going up, 
and then you're going to go diagonal twice to meet up with it, okay? And that's your first petal. Wow, got my kids screaming. So there's your first petal, okay? And now what we're going to do is the same thing on this side. We're going to go in right over here, and we're going to grab the band that you're going to go down twice. And then you're going to go diagonal and then over and then work your way up and then diagonal twice to meet up okay and then we have that petal completely done and that's where they attach see that i don't know if you can tell so they came down like this and went out like that and came down like this and went up like that and we ended right there. Okay, so now the next thing that we want to do is we are going to go, let's see here, I'm thinking we're going up to this pedal now. I think we're going to hold off and go up to this pedal now here on the left. That's what I'm seeing. Am I right on that? Am I right? Yes. So these two petals. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and grab this one and follow it around. Diagonal straight across. We're going to follow this one downward and then keep going and taking this one diagonal twice okay so it meets up back with itself right here like so okay gonna do the same thing on this side okay yep we're gonna go in the next peg over and we're gonna grab oops make sure I got the right one which I don't think I do Oh my goodness, how did these get mixed up? Uh, I'm really getting super mad, super mad. Okay, for whatever reason, I don't want that band. Okay, I want to go in and I want to grab this band. Okay. Hold on a minute. Let me fix my bands. That's where we're going to bring. We're going to go up to and follow it around. So go ahead and finish that. I think I have mine. Um, it's all tangled and I have I can't seem to get it back on the peg right. So I'll do that. But you just go up twice over or diagonal over down diagonal twice to meet back up right there. Okay, so now we're ready to do. Um, the green petal so you're going to come in from the border and you're going to do diagonal make sure I get the right band bring it out to the right and then bring it down diagonally okay then you're going to come in here and do and follow this down and grab I can grab the right band and bring this down okay and then we're gonna go over to the right and then diagonally twice okay so diagonal twice Let me make sure I get the right band here because I still don't think they're in proper order Nope, oh, wrong band. Uh. I am, I'm about to throw this thing across the room, folks. I don't know how I keep messing this thing up. <laughs> Can you feel and sense the frustration? Okay, let me just pull this out so that I can see what I got to search for. Okay, so now 
you're going to gather, and I still got the wrong band. Okay, well, look, we're going to hold this band, and then I'm going to come back and grab this band and bring it over. Okay. All right, so you come over diagonally twice, over, and then to the border. Okay, so that's what we have so far. <sighs> okay, now we're going to come back the other direction from over here. And we're going to grab this band. And we're going to bring it downward. I'm going to bring this one over. If I can get, oops, came off of the peg. I'm struggling, folks. I'm struggling. To the right, and then we're going to go diagonal. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to follow this. We're going to go diagonal again. And then we're going to go to the right, which is right there. Okay, and then what? And then we're going to, oops, yep, let me put this back. I had it sitting right here. Oh, I'm a mess. What have I done here? This is that same spot I had it in the wrong place. Okay, what you're going to do from here after you come here, you're going to go diagonal, diagonal over into the, um, the border. Okay. okay, so now you should have every one of these done and all around here all connecting to one another. Okay, so now all that's left is to do the simple border, which is going to be going in through this cap band and pack, taking it all the way to the border and going straight up and following it around till you get to the very top. So if you could just finish up the border for me, that would be totally cool. And then I will meet you at the top with a C-clip, and then we shall take it off of the loom. So just continue up to the very end, and then come in, and then I'll meet you at the top. Okay, so I am finished, and I'm going to go in to this peg, and grab this band, hold it with my finger, go into this one, grab the other one, put both of them on my hook, like so. And then I can put my C-clip on, okay? I've got it nice and secured, so I'm just going to take the C-clip off. And I'm praying that this is not going to fall apart. If you look underneath, you can see if everything's caught. The only part I'm concerned that may have screwed me up is this pattern because I kept messing up right here and grabbing the wrong band. So I'm really hoping mine stays together. But... That's what your loom should look like. Now all we're ready to do is take it off the loom. So you can just loosen the tension on both sides. Okay, just like so. And then you can go up to the next set and loosen some fans there. And then just start taking them off each individual one. Oh my goodness, I hope that I... Something's not quite right with this one, I don't think. But anyhow, just start taking it off the loom. Somehow, I've messed something up there. But just go ahead and take yours off the loom, and hopefully you did yours right. I'm going to catch mine. I think I just grabbed the wrong band. Okay, and then just start taking it off of each individual one, okay? And I'm going to take mine off the loom. I'm sure yours won't be messed up. It's just something that I've done. Obviously, didn't catch it. All right, well, I'll see you in a few minutes when I get mine off the okay, loom. Okay, so I took it off the loom, and I am in awe. Oh, look at those colors. I am so loving this color combo. I was so scared, but I surprised myself. I have a ton of bands to fix and get these flowers fitting exactly the way that I want them. 
and um, you see it's very holy here in the center but that's okay I think that's what makes it unique and I've got a little a little something I'm gonna try to put there in the center and uh, if not I'll put another little charm but look at that I am so in awe turned out so wonderful I'm so excited so anyhow this is the painted Daisy and it's by Twisty Christy on Instagram and if you could give her a follow that would be super awesome and I'm also on there as Artisan Loom and Facebook is Artisan Loom Bead Queen if you want to give me a follow or a subscribe to me um, that would be super cool I have a lot more designs coming for you from Twisty Christy so okay hope you enjoyed Hope yours comes out just as good. Take care. Bye.